Hi guys, Shelly here with So Shelly Quilts. I'm putting on my binding with the 71 foot like normal. And there were just a couple of things that I noticed I do that might help some of you. Number one, look at this. Whenever I'm dealing with a big quilt to sew on it, I put my quilting glove on even if I'm sewing. It just helps with the weight. This is a full size quilt. It's Oh, I don't know. Maybe not full size. Maybe it's 70 by 70 or something like that. But there's a lot of weight on this side. Also, I noticed that because of that weight, I'm finding I am not pulling. I'm not directing. I'm not doing anything. But I'm helping manage that weight by holding it behind and in front while I sew. And so, um, let me show you here. And so, by having this hand behind, I'm just making sure that it's not pulling off to the side from the weight of the quilt. I want it straight as it goes in the foot and and out of the foot. And so I've kind of got this V shape here with my hand, the quilting glove on so that it's really, you'll be stunned if you don't already realize that, these um, how well these gloves work. I happen to be wearing a pair called Machingers. They're inexpensive. They are washable. Mine are dirty. They get dirty really fast. You can wash them. Um, they're uh, reversible. It doesn't matter which hand each glove goes on. There's many brands of quilting gloves. But I just noticed as I was stitching how much I use this glove, and I didn't show you that before. So not only for this binding, but for any time I'm working with a heavy quilt, um, when I finish the edge, remember I um, pre-finish my edges with the little number 2A and, a, and an overlock stitch, before I bind and that way I'm not um, concerned at all about the edge so when I do that anytime I'm working with a heavy quilt I have sometimes both gloves on sometimes one glove on and I wanted you to see that also um, you know these videos are not scripted <laughs> I'm sure that's very obvious to all of you but in that video I have named the width of this wrong every time and in the notes the 71 foot is an 8 millimeter flat felled seam foot by Bernita. Eight. Eight is the magic number. So I think in the original video I call it four and in the comments I call it six. Oops. It is the number 71. It is an eight millimeter foot. So just a little bit of an update as I was working on this and I know I get comments from you guys all the time. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Um, be sure and subscribe. I've got some more things coming out. Um, but anyway, I just wanted you to see how wonderful this glove is when you're working with anything heavy and that when I do this binding on a, the finish of a heavier quilt, I'm, I'm, I'm not really driving. I'm just making sure that the weight of that quilt doesn't pull this off behind the foot. And so I, I really am just using this to stabilize and c make sure that this is continually going forward. All right. Thanks. Bye now. So Shelly Quilts.